good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's 10 o'clock. How's everybody on this fabulous Friday? I don't know if it's so fabulous for you. It's in New England, it's really wet and rainy and um, the temperature's gonna drop and it's gonna be freezing rain and sleet and nasty. And um, so that's why we're all cozy in our homes today and nope, the kids don't have school. And so that's what's going on in my neck of the woods. How about you? Do we have any of my sunny Florida people with me or my sunny California people with me yet? If so, pop on and say hi, please. Okay, let me just take a little swig of water. All right, so let me show you what we're gonna make today. Two cute cards, adorable, adorable, adorable. Look at how cute this little one. Good morning, Colleen. Thank you so much for popping on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, let me show you a Jean. Good morning. Good morning. You are there. Good morning. Thank you very much for popping on. And I'm going to get your cards done today, Jean. I'm probably not going to get them out in the mail because of the weather, but we'll see. If not today, first thing Monday morning. Anyway, okay. So look at this one. Stinking cute. Look at this cute little mouse. <laughs> I think this mouse is just adorable. I love the whimsical little expression on his face or her face. I don't know. And I like the fact that she is carrying a little balloon and it says, just a quick note to say, hi, sweet friend. So I'm going to show you how to make that easy, easy, easy. And then I'm going to show you how to make this one also very easy. This is a beautiful card. I think it's really pretty. I haven't given a lot of love to, um, to, uh, um, mint macaron in a long, long time. So I decided I'm going to use mint macaron um, in, in this card. So anyway, let's get started. Let me go over here. Let me get this. And I'm going to take this away. And I'm going to take this away. I'm going to start with the little mouse because the little mouse is so darn cute. So the first thing I did was I took Coastal Cabana cardstock. You know the routine. Cut and scored. Then I got my trusty little bone folder here. I love this color. I think it's very pretty. Reminds me of seaside, ocean stuff, environment. I love it. And then I took a piece of um, Melody Mambo, uh, Mango Melody cardstock, and I cut this to five and a quarter by four, and then I ran it through the stripes embossing folder. Look at how cute this stripes embossing folder is. See that? See that? Look at how cute that is. Very irregular shape i mean uh design but i like it so i did it i ran it through now this is uh for, used for the you can use it for the the stamp and cut machine the big one but uh, this i used in the mini machine and it comes uh, the width is about three and a half inches so you still have a little bit that's not embossed but that's okay it's totally fine so then i'm going to take my snail and where is my silicone pad um, I see I always forget something I look at my stuff and I say okay I'm all set I'm ready to go and then lo and behold something is missing it's my ghost my ghost takes these things you know oh well it's not here for the moment but anyway so a little bit of adhesive and I'm going to put this on my base just like this equidistant left to right uh, north to south like such easy then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of the designer paper. Now this designer pack comes um, in the celebration items. This is called Sunshine and Rainbow. Look at how cute these are. These color, I mean, it comes in the current mini. But look at the colors in here. So so pretty and bright. And of course, most of our designer papers are double sided. So on the other side, you have these prints. Adorable, adorable, look at that stripe, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love these colors. This is a nice collection. So anyway, I took the one that has the stripes. I mean, these aren't stripes, silly me. Little dots like um, like uh, Swiss dots. You could use either side that you want, but I want the dot side to show, out, to show up. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to use, well, let me get this out of the way here. I've got more room. I wish I could find my my silicone pad wait a minute i gotta go get it this is annoying me i can't do this because i'm afraid i'm going to get adhesive on here but anyway for right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this piece of designer paper and i'm going to put it to the left of my card equidistant from the edge and equidistant from the top like that now let me just run over to my other table and see if i can find my um silicone pad oh yeah here it is 
my ghost. My ghost took care of it. Anyway, okay. Now I'm a happy camper. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is what I did was I took a piece of the um, Coastal Cabana cardstock and then a piece of basic white. And I stamped the little, good morning, Nancy, from Hemet, California. You're up early. I know you're in your jammies. But thank you so much for popping on. All my Goombas all over the place. So anyway, I stamped the little mouse and I stamped inside the balloon that says, this is um, just a quick little note. And I'm going to, um, before I before I hear it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to color it. Now the reason I'm going to color it first is because I'm going to use my watercolor markers. That, Hi Steph, good morning. I'm going to use these alcohol markers and they do bleed through. So I want to make sure that nothing bleeds through onto my paper, even though I'm going to mount it on a, a piece of um, Coastal Cabana. But anyway, let me just get my little mouse colored. I'm going to use, this is um, Smoky Slate in the light color. And I, I like to do it in one direction. I'm always telling people to do it in one direction. And the reason I do it in one direction is because this is a really strong um, marker because of the alcohol. And it, if you're pressing, like when you were in kindergarten, if you're pressing really hard, you potentially could cause the paper to pill up. And I don't think you want that to happen. But so that's why I just kind of go in one direction and I'm very light with this, very, very light. I don't need to use much pressure at all because this is a great tool and it kind of just does the work for you if you just let it. So there we go. So there's my little mouse. Look at how cute. That expression is just priceless. And then I'm going to give this little mouse some pink ears. This is from um, um, the dark flirty flamingo. And I thought this was actually, let me use the other side. I'm going to use the writing tip end here to do this, to color this in. There we go. Nice bright ears. Nice pink ears. Fl flirty flamingo is like that. And then I'm going to do his little tail, her little tail. Yeah, her little tail. This is, this is Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. So is everybody staying home today? Hopefully not having to deal with this awful weather. Thank goodness the kids don't have school. Oh, what a mess that would have been. Okay, now I'm going to color the balloon. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, this is light Calypso Coral, and I'm just going to go around the perimeter like that. Oh, you know what? Silly me. I don't have to do that. What I did was, silly me, here. I stamped just the balloon on another piece of paper. I'll show you why, because I'm going to actually pop it up, and um, I don't need to color the one underneath, although I could do the perimeter. I could, actually, you, you know what? I will do that, just in case it shows through a little bit, um, just a little bit like this, just in case that shows through. Hey, I have a question. Am I the only person on the planet who has, you're working tonight? Oh, good, God bless you, Jean. Oh, God, I hope you're going to have somebody get you in there. Oh, Jean works at Milford Regional. Is that okay that I tell people that you work at Milford Regional? I worked with Jean. She's a lovely, lovely, lovely person. We had the greatest time on our shift working the night shift together. I miss my Goombas at, at uh, Milford Regional. I miss them a lot. So anyway, let me get back to this here. But yeah, so I was asking everybody, anybody else getting um, kitchen moths at this time of the year? I have no clue what I'm doing wrong. I'm not a, a, the best housekeeper. However, you know, I mean, it's, it certainly is not a dirty house. But, you know, I've got, I've cleaned the closets. I've put in the basil leaves and the, the, uh, the bay leaves and sprinkled it with basil you know, doing all the natural things that you're supposed to do to get rid of them. Well, I cannot get rid of them. I don't know what's going on. I've got those little traps out. We'll see if that works. Okay, now I'm going to take, I don't know, this is Mango Melody, and I'm just going to add the Mango Melody on top like this. This I have to get a new Mango Melody. I don't know if you can tell, but this one's just about had it. I go through my coloring tools a lot. I like the fact that I'm using two different colors. Me too, Jean. Me too what? Me too what? Oh, you work, you, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about how lucky we are that we worked with the people we worked with in on the night shift. Yep. Those were special times for me, girlfriend, and I miss it. I do. 
Okay, so there we go. So now I've got my little mouse all colored. Let me get my pens away so I have plenty of space. Now the next thing I need to do is to take my little snipperinis and I'm just gonna snip this out, cut this out. Um, easy peasy. Let the, scissors, let the scissors do the work as I turn the paper. Easy like that. Now this alcohol takes a little bit of time. Good morning, Caitlin. Thank you for popping on. Is little Charlotte with you too? Aw, this is my grand, this is my, um, my, uh, my nephew's wife and my grand, my grand niece. I'm so old. I have a grand niece. I have lots of grand. <laughs> I'm old. It's okay. It's fine. It's totally fine. Okay. There we go. So pop that off. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my dimensionals. Jean from Union, Maine. Good morning, Jean. I bet you're up there with your knickers on because it's wicked cold and snowy and icy and God knows what else. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to pop this on like this. I'm going to use four dimensionals. But before I do that, I'm going to take it. She's napping right now. <laughs> um, Charlotte is just a little tiny newborn. All right, so I'm going to take a piece of my um, linen thread and I am going to add, let me see, I think I'm probably going to use, yeah, I think I'm going to use my Tombow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Nancy McDonald, like this, call my, I call this my Nancy McDonald applicator because she's the one who introduced it to me. And I love it because even though the Tombow tip is a nice small tip, it's a nice small tip, this one is even tinier. So you can get into little tiny places. So I'm just going to put a little dab of do of um, the, um, the adhesive right here, just a tiny little bit, perfecto. And I'm gonna put my cap on. The most important thing when you're using these little um, adhesives is you wanna make sure that you put your caps on because you don't want that lumen to dry out. And it will if you don't keep the caps on. So keep the cap on. So now I'm gonna put this little um, bow right there like that. And then I'm gonna take the little dimensionals off here we go, and then I'm gonna pop this on top. Talk about easy. All right, just like this. Cute, cute, cute. And now I'm gonna throw this on my piece of Coastal Cabana, just like this. Easy peasy. And this one, good morning, Terry. How nice of you to join us. Are you in Milford or are you in Maine? Because either would be a lovely place to be. Where are you, dear? Milford or Maine? Okay, so that's on that. Now I'm going to bring my, my the card base back in. Uh, Gail Case, good morning, Gail. And now I'm going to pop this on, and I'm going to use adhesive. You could put it on with dimensionals if you wanted. You absolutely could. But I'm just going to use my adhesive like that. Pop this on. And I'm going to put this in equidist Milford. Okay, all right. Very good. Probably wouldn't want to be, well, I don't know. The coast on a storm day is kind of a fun place to be. I kind of like it. I like the ocean roaring. I like that sound. I like being close to the ocean and the waves and everything. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my Wink of Stella. You know me, I have to have Wink of Stella. And I'm going to give that little mouse a little bit of shine and shimmer. How easy is this? Can I even begin to tell you how many Wink of Stellas I go through in a month? Probably three or four. Isn't that crazy? But I love Wink of Stella. Okay, so that's done. Wink of Stella is done there. If the cap should break off, you could use a common pin with a big top to use on the bottle. Excellent, excellent idea, Nancy. Thank you very much. And good morning, Deb. How are you, Deb, from Blackstone? Nice to have you join me this morning. Thank you so much. Okay, so there's that. Now, I'm not quite finished because if you look at the, um, the first sample, what I did was I had to, of course, add some shine to this. I don't know if you can see it real well on camera, but what I did was I took my um, shimmery crystal effects and I just started to put some on like this. And you know what? I know this is using a lot of crystal effects, but you know what? If you've got some special friend or if you're going to use this as a birthday card, um, you want to make this as special as possible. So I'm just going to add it like this. 
go in circles. It self levels a little bit, but you know you don't have to self you don't have to self let it self level if you want. I'm kind of doing it in swirls like this, and I want it to be like that. And if I wanted to get really fancy, I could add some um, sprinkles on top, some iridescent ice if I wanted. But I think I'm going to just leave it like this, because some people tell me less is more. <laughs> and you know who you are. You are hunkered down. Good thing. I, everybody's hunkered down. I'm glad. Hi, hi to Tegan. Oh, my sweet little grandniece, my other little grandniece. Tegan can talk. Charlotte can't talk yet because Charlotte's just a little baby. But anyway, here's the card. All right, then, then, then. Hi, Laurie. Thank you so much for popping on. Then, of course, I have to do the inside. So on the inside of this card, what I did was just a quick note to say, hi, friend. So let me get my stamp that says, hi, friend which is, what did I do, right here. And I'm gonna use my Memento ink. And I'm going to take, hi sweet friend, and let me just pull this over here so you can see. And I'm going to stamp it. Hi sweet friend, how stinking cute is that? And then, now remember I used the uh, designer paper from the Rainbows and um, uh, Sunshine and Rainbows um, pack. Well, when you cut your piece of designer paper off, you're going to have a section on the bottom left over. So we're not going to waste this section. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive, or actually a lot of adhesive because I want to make sure it sticks. And then I'm going to pop it on the bottom, right on the very edge like this. Like that. Ta-da! How cute is that? Then I'm going to... Pop it inside the card. I have to be careful because this, um, Joyce, good morning, Joyce. Oh, I'm so glad you're popping in with me this morning. And there we go right here. There we go, like this. I got everybody, I got a lot of people from Massachusetts. I've got people from California and Florida. Holy moly, Macrolandy. And Terry, we can give you credit for Maine, too, because you, you live in Maine half the time. So anyway, all right, here we go. So there is the card. How stinking cute is that? Now, the envelope, what I'm going to do with the envelope, I don't have the envelope made, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another piece of this design of paper and use it for an envelope flap. But isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. I love it. I just think it's so sweet. Okay, so there's the first card. Now, we're going to get into a more serious card. Here is the more serious card. This one right here, which I absolutely love. Now, when this stamp set came out, this is called Flowing Flowers. I am a nut for flowers. Good morning, Barbara McDuffie. N better late than never. I'm thrilled that you're on. Thank you very much. The Worcester Contingency has signed on. Thank you. But I love this stamp set. Look at these images. Look at how pretty they are. I just love it. I'm, not, I'm trying not to get um, the glare from the light above. i got to figure that out better. Okay, but then I want you to take a look at the messages. Happy birthday, I like you, thank you. Time for a happy dance, sending a card instead of a text. I love those little messages. I love the fonts. I think this is a really, really nice stamp set to have. So when I was looking at that, I said to self, self, I'm going to make my own design of paper using this stamp set. So that's what we did. So let's get this started. Let me pull this over to the side. And let's show you here. Okay, of course, this is mint macaron. And this is a color that I haven't given a lot of love lately, too. So I decided to use mint macaron. I think it's a really sweet color. It's, it's hopeful of spring coming. I like it. So there is that. So then the next thing I did was I took a piece of five and a half by four and a quarter basic white cardstock. And I, um, I, I actually ran it through uh, the color and contour dyes. But um, I did it... I. I already cut it out, but I because I didn't want to waste the time cutting it out. But anyway, I love this this stamp set as well, and I love the dies that go with it. So I used this die, I used this die, and then the smaller one. But let me show you how easy this is. So first thing is, I'm going to take my mint macaron ink right here. Such a pretty color. It's a very soft green. I love it. And then I am just going to randomly stamp. I'm just going to start stamping, and I'm going to stamp again, and I'm going to stamp again, and again, and again. Random, just random and lightly, like that. 
Ta-da! Then the next thing I'm going to do while I'm stamping is I'm going to take the envelope and I'm going to stamp the outside of my envelope right here like this. How pretty is that? Look at how pretty that is. That is just a really beautiful stamp set. I love it. I just love, it's kind of Monet-ish. I like it. And then the inside of the card, I'm going to stamp this with, actually, since I already stamped the envelope, what I'm going to do is I'm going to huff on this just to re-moisturize it just a tiny little bit and stamp in the lower right-hand corner just to give it a little impression. Actually, I'm going to turn that over and do this again. Let me get a piece of scrap paper here. That didn't come out as um, dark as I as light as I wanted it. So let me just take this. I'm going to ink that up. Okay, this is going to be better. And then I'm going to come over here like that. Oh, much better. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, now what we're going to do is talk about easy. Then I am going to take this message that says sending a card. Oh, you know what? I'm not, I'm gonna show you something. First of all, this is the one that I made yesterday that says sending a card instead of a text, which I absolutely love. But I'm going to be making this for a friend. My friend Jeannie wants some cards, some thank you cards. So let me take this piece. Here's the basic white. This is using the very smallest um, rectangle die from the color and contour set. And I'm going to take my Memento ink and I'm going to stamp thank you right in the center, like this. I think this is a beautiful font, too. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's very subtle, but it's very pretty. I love it. Okay, so there's that. Let me get this cleaned up. Then I'm going to take, I'm going to stop my little assembly. Let me get these out of the way here. All right, so I'm going to take my silicone pad. I'm going to take this. I'm going to add some adhesive here, and I'm going to pop it on. I like this framelit a lot, this die a lot, because it's got some really intricate designs to it, and it's nice. It, it, it complements each other. It's got the side that's already scored and cut out. I like that. Oop, there's a piece of glue. Okay, that. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the base in, and I'm going to take this piece, which is my layer, which is my own design of paper. You can use make your own design of papers. It, it really is very easy. When you have a stamp set that you like, you can use light and dark, um, stamp on, stamp off on this. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, I can't even stand how beautiful that is. In real life, it's even prettier, I think. All right, so there is that. Then I'm going to take this with some dimensionals. And I'm going to pop four on, easy, like this. Perfect. We all know how that goes. It is pouring outside. Boy, is this going to be messy when it starts to freeze. Hi, Carrie. Thank you so much, Carrie. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for popping on. Hey, Dora Nancy. Coach, how are you doing? The Redding has popped in. Milford has popped in. All right, here we go. I'm going to put this on like this, equidistant, left, right, top, bottom, eyeball it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I'm still not done. I decided that this card needs a butterfly because butterflies have a lot of symbolism for a lot of different people. So I, and I love butterflies, so I'm just going to take this brass butterfly. This is, these are the matte butterflies, and I think what I'm going to do is this one, I'm going to use a larger one, and I'm, I have to turn it around so I can see where I want to put it. I think I'm going to put it right here in the lower right-hand corner. Love my pick-me-up tool. It's a great tool if you don't have one, you really do need to get one. Look at that. How pretty is that? Now, oh, you know what? Time out. Let's change this up a bit. I'm going to take this little butterfly and I'm going to very gently move this butterfly up here there we go because 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 I want to put in my little um I want to put in my little tiny white crinkle bow and let me just take my adhesive remover and get that off there we go okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dimensional uh glue dot rather I'm going to put that right here in the corner. I'm going to use my, my uh, um, 
what's this called? My pick me. <laughs> ah, my pick me up tool. There, there goes the pick me up tool. And I already made a crinkle bow out of this crinkle ribbon, which I absolutely love. And I'm just gonna put it on like that, like that. Now, here is. Oops, we gotta put the inside in. Don't forget the inside. Yep, that's the inside. There are no mistakes in Stampin' Up. You, sometimes you might have to use the other side of the paper, but only you and I know who has made a little persnickety issue and turned it into a positive situation. Thank you, Terry. I think it's very pretty too. And let me put this in like this. There we go. East, west, north, south. Now, let me show you something here. I just noticed this. I don't know if you can see this or not, but you can see this little tiny bit of fraying on my cardstock right there. That's telling me that my blade needs to be re replaced, my blade on my cutter. So when you have a little fraying like that, I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can point it out with my pick-me-up tool right here. I'm sure you're all, because you're all veteran stampers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. See that little tiny bit of fraying on the paper? That is not, and right here, that is not a nice crisp cut on my machine. So that needs to be taken care of. Tegan loves the flowers. Thank you, Tegan. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so here we go. And here is the envelope. There we go. And there is the card. Easy peasy. Isn't that pretty? I absolutely love it. Jean, I'm going to get yours made. I probably won't get them posted today because of the weather. It depends on what happens in the next couple of hours, but I'll see. If not today, Monday morning for sure. But anyway, so these are the cards that um, I'm offering for next week. Let me bring this over. Make sure we get the right one. Here we go. My cute little mouse. My little, there's a mouse in the house. There's, I think there's a book called The Mouse in the House. Is there a book called The Mouse in the House? Tegan, is there a book that's called The Mouse in the House? Well, there should be. Maybe we should write it. Maybe you and I should write it. That would be a fun thing for Auntie and Tegan to do together, wouldn't it? I think so. And then this one, this beautiful one right here, which can be used for so many different occasions. Thank you, thinking of you. I'm sending this and I'm sending you this card instead of a text. You're welcome, Jean. Um, I just love it. So, my friends, that is my offering for next week. Monday and Tuesday, Monday anytime at, after 4 o'clock, and for a Tuesday morning at 9 o'clock in the morning. These are the cards that we'll be doing. Please don't forget to uh, like my, my site here because that's helping me in the big technological world. My CEO is expanding my search engine optimization, whatever the heck that means. But more importantly, more importantly, uh, I appreciate you so much. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Thanks for popping on. Um, I hope that you have a great, safe weekend. I will see you next Friday morning. Stay safe, everyone. Namaste. Thank you. Bye-bye.